Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This episode is about 3M film. So I have never shot this uh, film before, so it's a first impressions episode. This film is made in Italy and it has a very impressive box because it has a lot of information that usually don't come in, uh, in normal boxes. For example, it has this read this note notice and it has some kind of information that uh, if something is wrong with the film or if it's destroyed during development uh, and they are the, the responsibles for the development that they will uh, replace the film. They also put here a serial number for the emulsion. This one is uh, emulsion number 32396 which um, it's quite impressive. I have never seen uh, emulsion, emulsion serial numbers on films before. And another characteristic from this film is that uh, it's expired in January 1980. So it's a very old film and we will shoot it IS at box speed, which is ISO 100. And we will then push it during development. So for this episode, we will use again the Canon EOS 300 uh, with the Pentacon uh, 29mm 2.8 and the lens we are currently using to shoot this part of the episode, the Canon EF 50mm 1.8. So guys, I just got the, the scans back from the lab last night and I'm amazed with the results. I have never seen anything like this before. Uh, and that's why I shoot a lot of expired film. But before, it, before going into the results, there are two things I want to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about is Glenn McGee. Glenn is one of you guys. He has been very active interacting with me and he just offered two roles for the channel. Uh, a Fuji Color Superior, Superior 200 expired in 2012 and the other one is True Print 200 also expired in 2012. Um, I must say I've never uh, shot this True Print um, film before. I hope it will be a very nice surprise when we get to make an episode about it. So thank you very much Glenn. The second thing I want to talk about is Focus AG. Um, this is a lab project from Cesar Pinheiro in Portugal and I must give a shout out to Cesar because he's doing an amazing job. He's not just someone that likes to do uh, every now and then some development. He's a true professional. He studied to become a lab technician. He worked with uh, Ilford if I'm not mistaken. He has invested a lot in gear like the Epson V850 if I'm not mistaken with the silver cast um, and he's working professionally on this area and uh, the lab is still growing so I think it's important for you guys to know Cesar and uh, also for Cesar to be known uh, because if you want to do if you want something to be done really really good uh, then definitely you should have um, a look at Cesar, Cesar's work I will leave the link for his project uh, on the description below uh, 
Um, and also, before I forget, um, to say that this uh, role was developed with Fujifilm Express Kit C41 with distilled water at 38 degrees for those who are interested in these uh, details. So last but not least, um, actually if something is important, it's the um, results from this role. And I am very amazed with the results we got this time because they are totally different from whatever I have seen before and I shoot a lot of expired film. And that's exactly why I like to shoot expired film. I like this unpredictable variable uh, of shooting expired film. Anyway, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed the episode and if you did, please subscribe and uh, I hope to see you in the next episode. Palms away. A fine line will set you.